Welcome back everybody, Chad Ferguson, catfishedge.com. Want to talk to you a little bit today about the DIY rod storage rack that I built for my boat. Posted the video last week of my Sea Art Pro Cat 240, just kind of walking through some of the features and uh, electronics, things that I had done to rig this boat. And I had a lot of questions about this rod storage rack, where it came from or how I built it. So I want to share that information with everybody today. So what I've done is basically just taken a swivel ease seat post, standard seat post that you use um, for any kind of boat seat. Most boats have the same bases on them that work with these swivel ease posts. And this is the threaded base and post that I'm using. And uh, I wanted to use that threaded base and post so I could not only screw it in and be assured that it was secure and wasn't gonna come out, but also so I could use it to adjust the position of the rack. So I've set this up so I can either have the rod rack going forward and backwards with the boat so it's narrow, doesn't take a whole lot of space, or I can turn it and screw it in a little bit further where it'll set sideways running uh, crossways on the back of the boat so I can access rods on either side. Now I've built this to hold 12 rods, uh, probably a little bit overkill. Um, usually, you know, I'll carry anyway for anywhere from eight to 12 rods. It just kind of depends on the type of fishing I'm doing. You could adjust this for any number of rods, however you wanted to do it, pretty easy. Now, I've used the Cabela's uh, rod holders here. These are just uh, plastic rod holders that they sell at Cabela's. They sell them in configurations of, I believe, one, two, four, and six. I've got two of the six rod holders on here. Obviously, there's a lot of different options on the market that you can use. These are just the ones that I could find at the time. They seem pretty durable, so that's what I went with. You can also make these if you don't want to buy them, um, these plastic rod holders. You just take a piece of PVC pipe, heat it up with a heat gun. You can put a beer bottle down in the end of it after you've heated it up and flare the PVC on the end and uh, come up with your own if you don't want to build uh, or don't want to buy something like this. Certainly easy enough to build up these on your own. There's a great tutorial on how to do this and I'll put a link on the Catfish Edge website. You go check this out there. I'll give you a link on some tips on building these rod holders yourself that covers everything, including flaring the ends, as well as cleaning the PVC up so you can get the lettering and stuff off of them, make them look real nice if you want to. So that's what I'm using for the actual rod holder piece. Now, basically what I did, if you got one of these threaded swivelly seat posts, Whatever type of rod holder you want to use for your upright rod holders, you can go buy something, you can make something on your own, decide however many rods you want it to hold. And then all I did is just went and got some aluminum stock. I actually got the aluminum stock out of the scrap bin at the steel house. It was cut pieces that were odd links that were left over from other stuff that they had sold. It was a di sold at a discount. I think I spent a grand total of about three, four, five dollars on the aluminum stock. This is three quarter by half uh, rectangular aluminum stock. It's not solid, it's hollow. And I just built a long rectangular frame for the top and the bottom and laid it out around that seat post, put some end pieces on there to reinforce it. And then I put some extra pieces on the bottom to reinforce it as well. And I actually built that with the intent of being able to slide some Plano tackle boxes down inside of there and be able to store tackle inside of here as well. And uh, I haven't finished that yet because I kind of cut these bolts off. And uh, once I get these bolts cut off, then I'll be able to slide those tackle boxes down inside here in the middle and store it. So how you're going to do this is really going to vary based on, you know, the number of rods you want it to hold and your boat. I'll tell you, couple things to watch out for if you're going to build one of these. Um, make sure that you get the frame built high enough 
to keep your rods off the floor of the boat. That way you'll be able to turn it and adjust it like I'm doing here. And also you'll be able to unscrew it and remove it without having to take all the fishing rods out of it. Other than that, as long as you build some sort of frame, sandwich it around that seat post and just make sure that it's good and sturdy and reinforced, you're not gonna have any problems at all. Um, this thing is uh, pretty heavy when you get a lot of rods in it, but uh, it's still not so heavy that I can unscrew it. I can move it up to the front of the boat if I want to. And uh, I actually have built a little uh, stand inside uh, my building and I can just take this out, carry everything in and put it down in that stand and store everything like that if I want to take all my rods out of the boat. So that's the nuts and bolts of what I've built here. A uh, little bit of aluminum stock, somebody that knows how to weld aluminum or has an aluminum welder and you should be good to go. I think grand total with uh, aluminum, the rod holders, and 12 pack of beer that it cost me to get my buddy to weld it for me. I think I may have $100 invested in it, if that, um, you know, pretty cheap. So that's the DIY rod storage rack. Um, like I said, go over to catfishedge.com and get some more details there. I'll put some measurements there on the website and uh, you can check that all out if you want to copy this exact design. Otherwise, like I said, just kind of go at it. Build your aluminum frame around a seat post, make sure it's good and sturdy and you're good to go.